Good evening, everybody. It is the Dark Comic Nerd, and I'm back, guys. And the thing is, is that I'm happy to be doing another video for you guys because I love doing videos for you guys. And even though I really need to go get a shower, I was outside doing some work in my garden today, and that's where uh, I've been spending a lot of my free time lately um, between gardening and I've actually been watching a uh, new anime and I finished another new anime so I've been busy on Crunchyroll and I've just had a whole bunch of things going on guys so um, I've been spending a lot of my free time doing that but it's one of those things that I told you guys every once in a while we'll come back and do an episode of This Nerdy Life and here we are everybody we're back doing an episode of This Nerdy Life where we're going to look at new additions guys to the old book collection now, the very first one we're going to go into, guys, is actually not going to be something that we're going to look at as far as all together. We're going to be surprised, guys. We're going to... Well, you're going to be surprised. I, of course, know what I ordered. But these ones here, guys, are surprise things for you guys to check out um, in a second. We've been adding a lot of books to our collection. One of the first ones we've been doing, guys, is we uh, have been adding to our trade paperback collection that I have. And I actually have a fairly good sized trade paperback collection, guys, from everything from um, newer Ghostbusters stuff that IDW did to uh, events that Marvel had back before they sucked. <laughs> before they sucked. Um, but this, guys, is Power Rangers Recharged. This is Volume 1, so it actually is... I don't know if it actually says it in the front, but I'm going to hope it does. Um. Yeah, it takes it's it's Power Rangers 100, Mighty Morphin, or yeah, is it Mighty? Yeah, Mighty Morphin. Because for a while they split into two different things because they were a bunch of cash grubbing morons. Um, this is issues 100 through 102. So 100, 101, and 10. Wow, this is only three issues. Jeez, no wonder nobody does any of this stuff. All right, well, yeah, I guess it is only three issues. Weird, weird thing. And that's and guys. This is how much it costs for three issues. So that tells you probably is a reason Boom Studios is now going under. Now, why am I getting this stuff? Well, because even though they've made Power Rangers a woke wreck of a story, guys, there's still a lot of things that they've done that expands on the Power Ranger universe outside the TV show. And I like that, so I wanted to check it out as they are getting ready in Boom Studios to shut down and they are giving up their rights to Power Rangers. Uh, basically, I can't say I'm too surprised because Boom Studios has decided to bring wokeness into Power Rangers, just like IDW bought wokeness into Transformers. And geez, who has Transformers now? Well, you know what? It's, uh, what is it? Is it Skybound? I don't remember who it is, but they're a subsidiary of Dark Horse, guys, is what they are. So, uh, yeah, this is what happens when you're dumb, is you lose the rights to things because you're not making enough money. Now, I'm sure they'll attribute it to other things like, oh, we just felt we got to the end of our run. Ah, uh, shut up. You suck and you know it. Non-binary rangers and gay rangers that are not in canon. That was the new thing that was released today. They had an article out on Scream Rant about how they made two of the Power Rangers that were in the original TV show. Both who, I believe, pardon me. Oh, I got something on my tongue, guys. Both of who, I believe, had girlfriends before they finished off the characters in the TV show. So, uh, definitely not canon. Uh, yeah, and the thing is, is that it's like they decided to do this because they are letting activists into their con into their companies, and they are ruining crap. So, hmm, geez, what? Which company did I know recently that let activists into their company, and now they're screwed? Oh yeah, Disney, who currently today is down to eighty five bucks in their stock, and it's dropping. Why? Because. They let wokeness into their company, and it is killing them, and it d is well-deserved. Now, who else did that? Well, Warner Brothers decided to do that. And they lost $9 billion, with a B, billion dollars recently, and are now dumping everything left and right. And right now, they don't even know if they're going to be able to move forward with a whole bunch of stuff, like Cartoon Network. It looks like they might just drop the whole network or it might get absorbed into something else. But there's even a boycott going on that says 
no streaming of HBO Max. They're trying to boycott HBO Max because they're forcing everything to go to HBO Max and people don't want to have to pay for HBO Max to see simple stuff. Looney Tunes is pretty much getting sold off. They're even selling off Looney Tunes to some group called Ketchup Incorporated or something. It's a weird thing, guys. It's crazy. Why is it crazy? Well... You let woke activists into your company, and they're obliterating everything. So, boom, there it is. And, hey, what irony, because it's, well, Boom Studios. So, yeah, I guess they got it. Yeah, I guess they got it. Boom, there you go. Because that's exactly what happened. Boom, there you go. Because everybody is letting woke crap into their th comic industry, guys, is dying. It's practically undead by this point. It's dying. All of the media is dying. Everything in entertainment is going down the crapper. Thank the good Lord for people like Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman that could at least do the Deadpool 3. And that was a great success, guys. But it doesn't look like it's going to do much except kind of give Disney a boost for a bit. And then it's going to drop off a cliff because they don't know how to not be dumb. And that's what a lot of other people don't know how to do is to not be dumb. So, of course, everything is dying. Now, sure, Warner Brothers, DC, same group of people. But did they say DC is going down the tubes? No. But is it going to be maybe as safe if they get rid of Warner Brothers and Warner Brothers gets possibly sold off to, like, Netflix or something? Well, that's going to... We're going to have to wait and see, guys. Just like James Gunn trying to do his Superman thing. Good luck. It might be the only thing on the docket. They might not be able to afford anything else after this. They're losing money hand over fist because they did the same thing as Disney with Marvel. They went into the woke stuff. Must obey woke masters. And what's happening? Well, it's coming up failure after failure after failure. And guess what? Failures don't make money. So that's where we're at, guys, with a lot of things like Boom Studios is shutting down. So I'm trying to grab as many of these as I can hopefully afford to at least know how they're going to end Power Rangers. Because, guys, Hasbro sucking it, too, because they decided to be grub money-grubbing butt monkeys. And so they're trying to charge you through the nose for everything Hasbro-related. And nobody wanted to buy it. And they went woke on other crap like world of was it world of warcraft no i think it was dungeons and dragons i think it was th them and a few other people might even the magic of the gathering but it was amazing how many people own other stuff guys that you don't hear about nowadays but a lot of these companies guys have decided to go woke they've decided to go woke they've decided to go dumb they think they're going to get this sorry guys i had to move my leg they think they're going to get this magic audience that doesn't exist and the audience that they are pretty sure does exist doesn't spend money. Re retards. And I'm not saying that about mentally handicapped people because if you have not been around me long enough, guys, on my videos, you would know that my philosophy is that mentally handicapped people are mentally handicapped people. The term retard does that actually follow mentally handicapped people. It was a slur that they used to use back in the good old days. And the thing is, is that I don't use that when it comes to the mentally handicapped people. I call mentally handicapped people, people with a mental challenge, like maybe something happened to them when they were younger and they got dropped on their head or something. I have a friend I think that happened to. And the thing is, is that they have some mental problems. The thing is, guys, is you know what? I don't call those people retards. They are mentally handicapped. Or they just have a mental disorder. They're not necessarily even handicapped. Some of them are really bright people. When I say retards, I'm talking about the stupid people out there that just do dumb really well. I don't know which way this street corner is. It's on the corner of the street. Can I walk in traffic? Please do. Find a busy highway and walk down the middle of it. Please. Because the thing is, is that stupid people out there that act like they're smart, they think they're better than the mentally handicapped people or the mentally challenged people, and they're not. They suck. Activists suck, and a lot, scalpers suck, and a lot of other people suck. You know what they suck? They suck the joy out of society. And hence, this is why everything's going down the crapper. And so, thanks for burning my childhood, you jerks. 
But since I want to know what's going to happen with the end of Power Rangers and now Hasbro and all the people that were making the TV series and they were doing all the stuff with that, they've decided to be absolutely asinine and just throw everything out a car window at Mach 5 then it's like, you know what happens? You have to go to the comic books because they're the only ones that were doing anything. Even though they're retconning stuff, see Bobby Drake Iceman and you'll see what I'm talking about with what's going on. But the Darkest Hour thing is pretty much done, guys. It's, it's wrapping up. And it's going to be the end of the best thing that I wish they could have done in TV without the wokeness garbage. And they're doing in the comic book thing. It's the ultimate incarnation of Rita Repulsa. It's the ultimate thing of what happened to Zed and everybody else. It goes far beyond what they did in the TV series. Because the TV series decided, hey, we're going to bring back all these villains and put them together as like a League of Evil. And we're going to then make the Power Rangers suck. So that nobody will care. You sit there and you watch the latest Power Rangers series and I'm rooting for the villains. I mean, I haven't actually watched it, but I'm already rooting for the villains. It's like, just... Wipe everything out. Take over the earth. You couldn't possibly make it any worse than this crap. Just take over. Nobody cares. So you have to watch it, guys, because you are, in this case, you have to read it. Because if you don't, basically, it's like reading all the Harry Potter books. And then when you get to the end, you stop. You don't know how it ends for Harry and the rest of the crew. Or you don't watch the last movie in the series. So you have to actually read the thing if you want to know how it ends. Because nobody's ever going to end it for you because Hasbro decided, we're stupid. We like activists. <laughs> it, actually, it's not so much the activism in the, co in the company, guys, that's killing it. It's really a combination of that along with the fact that, well, let's take a Transformer toy. A basic Transformer toy now just about costs 25 bucks. Nobody wants to buy their kids uh, the kids really don't want it so it's the collectors now and as a fellow collector i can tell you i don't want no cheap piece of plastic whether i'm taking it out of the box or not most collectors aren't i don't want it for 25 bucks you can have it particularly i'll tell you where you can put it it's like you can put that cheap piece of plastic where the proctologist will find it and if you don't know what i'm talking about look it up but I really want to know what's going to happen, guys. So as woke as it gets towards the end, and as woke as they've done stuff with a non-binary ranger, I'm going to just suck it up and I'm going to read it. Because I like to know how they decide to end it with this thing. It's very interesting, too. i got to tell you guys, from what I understand, we have zombie rangers down the, down the line. And the thing is, is that personally, I don't care how they act. They've got to be smarter than people in real life. That's the way I see it. Because it's a sad world we live in right now. Hi, we're going to burn down your childhood for people that don't even spend money. And if you don't know who those people are, they're the other activists. Because this is to make the shippers happy. And I won't say what it is because it's too disgusting. But it, it's, it takes a big fat dump, a big smelly dump on canon that actually was introduced in the actual TV show, which is what everything's based on, so they can't go, it's canon now. No, what it is now is your comic book is going to be landfill filler. It's going to be stuff that people use to start bonfires with. That's what's going to happen, and you, the stupid activists that wrote this garbage, are going to go down in the annals of history as, who the heck was that person? I don't know, they weren't important enough to remember. There you go. So, ba boom but it's like, yeah, I'm very embarrassed to say that everybody is infiltrating stuff like Power Rangers, Transformers, G.I. Joe, you name it. And you can ask my good friend, Brother Hamill, and he will tell you, he will probably even offer an opinion during this video. I wouldn't be surprised. They are ruining everything. They are ruining Superman, Batman, you name it. If it's something from back in the day, people that are activists feel the need to, I must take that over because it will allow me a big audience to reach so I can propagate my Nazi propaganda. I mean, uh, the wonderful stuff that will make the world better. Yeah, right. Because, guys, I'm sorry, but if you guys don't know what the Nazi propaganda was, back in the day during World War II, the Nazi planes would go over World War II, Nazi planes, Germany, they'd go by and they'd drop leaflets telling you how rotten the Jewish people were. They're not bad. I don't care what they say right now. They've brought this country to where it is, and most people want to wipe their butts on their faces. Well, guess what? 
I seem to remember a good old day when I grew up where we actually acknowledged Jewish people for having to suffer through this little thing called the Holocaust. So, you know what? This whole thing where this whole propaganda thing where we're starting it again and we're trying to have people infiltrate all our things, our colleges, our entertainment industry, all this stuff, so they can try to force their ideas down my throat. Screw that! You know what, guys? All of you, use your own brains. You have them, God gave them to you, use them. You can tell this stuff is crap and people are trying to manipulate you. Don't let them do it. Don't let them try to be like, oh, if you don't obey that agenda, we're going to come and done cancel you. We're going to mess you up online. And then we're going to find you in real life and we're going to mess you up. And we're going to call it messing you up in quotes so that people can't say that I threatened you. (laughs) Yeah, okay, mafia boss. Good grief. But that's the way it works in society now and it's screwed up. And it just disgusts me. But yet... I'm going to buy the book. But here's something, guys, that'll make things better. Manga! The way the Japanese make it. That way, they actually can um, dub this stuff, put it over here for us to enjoy in America, and we're starting to get the stupid weasels out of the freaking industry that are putting their own crap in, and they're starting to get bumped off now. And by bumped off, I mean pushed out of the industry because they're going online and going, oh, look at me. I I made this wonderful manga. I made this wonderful anime thing, a pile of steaming crap because I made it with my agenda in mind. So I translated it so that my priorities are at the top. Screw the guy that actually created it. You know, what does he know? Because he's from another country. Uh, he's the person that created it. It came from his imagination. He is what we call the creator. It's it's this thing, guys, that people have about being against the creator of things. You know, most people in society now want to be against the creator. Most of you Christians are figuring out right now where I'm going with this. Because God is the creator. And people want to be like, well, I can do better than the creator. It's like that old joke about scientists get together and tell God they can do it on their own now. And when they reach down for the dirt, the Lord says, get your own dirt. There you go, guys. Don't believe these people. They are weasels. They are the foxes in the hen house. They are trying to make the dubs of these mangas and anime into crap on purpose to support what they think. And what they think is somewhere along the lines is, follow me closely, guys. This is this is their train of thought. It goes a little something like this. That's the train of thought they're going on. That and a flat line and something along the lines of, Duh, with a little drool coming out the side of their mouth. Trust me, these people are not worth your time. Boycott them and make sure you definitely give the impression that you want to buy manga, you want to watch anime, but you want it dubbed the way it's supposed to. This is why most people just watch the sub stuff and they read their stuff now because they can't trust the way that it's dubbed because most people want the original stuff. Because that way they can tr- they can trust that what they're seeing should be what's being said. The problem is most people don't seem to understand that the same people doing the dubbing, the, this is the way it works, guys. Somebody goes and translates this stuff for the dub cr- cast to be able to read their lines. Well, the same retards that are messing with that are the ones that are writing your sub stuff. So you don't know if you're really getting the way it's supposed to be. That's why they're trying to introduce a little bit more in AI to try to actually get things in. So we can get rid of these localizers that are really about as local as Mars. They're about as local as Mars is to where I'm sitting in my house right now. They uh, localizers in reality, guys, all the word choices and puns, you know, notwithstanding, what they really do is they're supposed to translate it. They're supposed to take Japanese text and quote unquote localize it, make it understandable for us over here in the United States. That's their job. They're supposed to make it understandable, not change the context and everything to fit their wild agendas. But that's what they do. Now, not all of them. But a majority of them are starting to pop up more and more and more. So, I want to say, manga is definitely better than the comic industry. Don't doubt it. But, they're infiltrating that too. They're pushing their ideals down on the people in Japan. It's getting rough right now. So, this is the number one thing I recommend if you want a good story in the 
comic book in the in the comic book format. But keep in mind that there is a rough patch we're going through because the same people that have infiltrated and messed up our childhood and messed up everything over here in America are starting to push that same BS on the people in other countries. You know why, folks? Because they're like cancer cells. Their idea is to simply come in and destroy all the healthy shit. That's what they're trying to do. Uh, it's disgusting. And I had, to, I had to rant about it, guys, because that Power Rangers thing, I was so happy to get that even though I knew some of what was going on with the non-binary ranger. But the guy, is a, he's a death ranger. He's dead, so I guess it doesn't really make a difference if he's non-binary because he's dead! But, so, he, it's a dead person. So I guess in the reality, you don't have to genderize a dead person. But, whatever. The thing is, is I saw that article this morning about them taking two canon really de these are original OG characters guys from back in the TV show that I idolized them when I was growing up these are one of them is now the the actor that played him in the series went on to be the voice actor for a lot of shows one of which is Ichigo Kurosaki in the Bleach series we all know who he is and he doesn't deserve this none of the actors deserve this crap trying to ship them together and do all this stuff for an audience that won't even pay money to actually read the crap so they're not even going to know they're going to do it they believe they got their representation just from the new news articles they're putting out about it and that's all these people want is they want to go out on a high note and be like oh look at me I ship two major characters together look at how wonderful I am you're going to worship me now right you know alphabet community no they don't care about you you know why because a they live in their mom's basement b they have no money and c they're too busy trying to worship the cult of the lgbtq plus community they don't have any time to left to worship you for joining in even if you're one of them does it make a difference if there's one thing missing in your agenda? Let's say you're a uh, woman and you've got a different ethnic background than white and you are, um, a, let's, let's go with a lesbian. Maybe you're a transgender lesbian. Whatever the case is, uh, you vote to the left. Um, but, but you might believe, wait for it, wait for it, that Donald Trump does not deserve to be shot in the head. That the, the attempted assassination attempt should not have happened. Oh my gosh! You don't want Trump dead! That's it! You're out of the club! Get out of here! We're shipping you off the island. That's the way it works, guys. Because if you're not completely on board, this is how deranged these people are. And if you don't believe me, go over to Clownfish TV. The stands for stuff like she and all these other things, they are lunatics. They are absolute lunatics. You don't basically worship the ground that Taylor Swift walks on and people go full-on horror movie on you. It's crazy because they're crazy. And the thing is, guys, is that, you know what? It ruins everything. Guys, remember, this is an episode of This Nerdy Life. I'm allowed to talk about whatever the heck I feel like. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, we'll get to opening this. I want you to see the first of the... Uh, this is the most recent one I got in. Hopefully we can open it really good. Um... Meaning, it's not going to fight me on it, is it? You're going to fight me, aren't you? You suck! Um, yeah, they, they do tape these up pretty good, guys. So, I don't have anything to cut into them. I'm doing it just on the... Just the way they, they sent it to me. So, I'm going to try to do this. But if I have to, I'm going to have to uh, come up with another inventive way to open this thing. But I think I might have it. Yeah, they really want to make sure that, like, this gets here in one piece. Because I, I got this shipped off eBay, guys, from a... Um, from a group called Flipside Gaming or something like that, I believe. Um, really good group. Um, okay, now I need both hands. So, here we go. Uh, I wanted to open it for you guys. And I wanted to see Flipside Gaming. Yeah, it's right on the money. I, I, I can't show you the thing, guys, because it's got my address on it. But, oh my gosh! It's holding on with the jaws of life. I mean, the thing is, guys, is that I'm very impressed on how they package this. But holy crud. So here's the first here's the first manga, guys. I got a cheat skill in another world and became unrivaled in the real world too. Aren't they making these super long titles, guys? It's crazy. 
Um, I'm gonna let you guys read the back here real quick. Um, and that's how much I actually paid less than that, guys. But that's uh, 13 bucks is about the way it normally looks. Oh my gosh, good artwork! That is some good stuff. The basic premise is, is this guy is a fat loser. His grandfather passes away, and he um, um, ends up finding a magic door. And his grandfather's like, his grandfather had like all these cool things. And uh, look at the artwork for this, guys. It's it's great. I love good artwork like this. Um, so he ends up finding. See, so this is the way. This is the way. Uh, let's see what he looks like here. Can we? Can we get? Um, can we get a, yeah, kind of like this guy's best we can. Fat kind of loser, gets beat up by the bullies in school. Uh, like I said, grandfather dies, finds this back room with all his grandfather's treasures, you know, stuff from around the world. One of them is a big door to an alternate fantasy land where he actually goes and um, uh, there it is, guys. Door to another world. So he actually gets there and there he can level up and he actually turns into this guy. And uh, I'll leave it at that, guys. You should really check it out. A lot of good things happen to him. He does a lot of good things with his new powers. Any powers and stuff he learns here in the alternate world, he can take back to the real world. It's freaking awesome. I love the anime. I wanted to read the book so bad. And I actually got this, guys. Believe it or not, I picked this up for $8.25. That's right, folks. $13 book for $8.25. Bam! Already better than... Well, you actually... Don't pay that much for some of the comic books nowadays. But you know what, guys? Comic books also aren't this thick. Just ask my friend Brother Hamill. He'll tell you. You will not get a comic book this thick. So, there we go. I love it because comic books suck. Because the people have decided to ruin the industry. And that's why we went on the rant at the beginning. So that now, I don't have to say anything further, guys. We can just enjoy the, the wonderful unpacking. The strength of Superman that you need to open this thing. Oh my gosh. At least we know the books are right so far. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't need to continue on the rant, guys. Because I already did all of it. Because that really cheesed me off. Because they're burning my childhood down. Burning it! It wasn't bad enough you were burning the rest of the world down. We had to burn my childhood with it. Of course they did. The answer to that is yes. Of course they did. Alright guys, so here we go. So this is the new stuff, along with the Power Ranger trade earlier. This is the new stuff I'm adding to my book collection, guys. Here we go. Boom, upside down. Let's all, you guys can read that, right? <laughs> so, first one up, guys. Pokemon Adventures. Um, I can't remember how it's pronounced. Is it Alpha Ruby and Omega Sapphire? I, no, I had it backwards. Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. Now, I have one of these from before. I've been meaning to find out, did I pick up a double? Because I've read a storyline similar to this before. I think I did. I think I grabbed the sequel to the last one I picked up. Some of the artwork. Um, I'm not sure. This might be... Maybe I did pick up one by accident. I don't think so, though. Here you go, guys, for the Pokemon fans. Good artwork. I love Pokemon Adventure stuff. Yeah, this is definitely starting to look like I might have picked up... Um, what the, To explain what I believe might have happened, guys. And it's okay if I was wrong and I did pick up a double. I wasn't sure. I had to gamble. Um, what this is is that... Okay, so first off, guys, $11.99. And this is put out by Viz Media, so just to let you guys know, and I also want to let you guys know, I have a bad itch on my back, and I'm about to peel my own skin. It's bothering me so much, so bear with me for a second while I itch it. Um, so what happened, guys, is that um, originally they put out some very cheaper, much cheaper, I think, without the Pokemon Adventures thing on the front, smaller versions of this where the chapters were smaller. So I think what this is, is a lot of the cheaper ones I already have into a bigger book. Now that's okay if that's the case, because if that's the case, I might just put this up with the other stuff and just consider it something that I did have to pay a good amount of money on. I think I paid less than the $11.99, but it's fine. Uh, I'm seeing some stuff that looks very similar. I thought this might be a sequel to the last one I picked up, but 
that's the problem is every once in a while Pokemon Adventures will pick it up. They'll put it under a slightly new title and you don't know if you're getting the smaller books that you got in a bigger format or if you're getting a completely new manga. So I took a gamble on this one. I think I lost, but we'll find out what happens in the long run. I'll check it out. Because um, some of it's looking similar, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's that it's not a new one. So the next one, guys, is something that came out really recently. Oh, by the way, guys, that reminds me. I want to check on something real quick. This is where we can tell what's going on a little bit more, too. Is the... Um, yeah, first printing, guys, January 2024. So, I can tell you it was a long time ago they picked up. So, either they compiled those little ones into this big book, or this is something new. I don't know which one, but there it is, guys. First printing 2024. So, that says something's going on. So, here's the new Sword Art Online, guys. This just started coming out. This only came out, I think, a few months ago. I just found out about it. It's a new line of the Sword Art Online series. This takes place with a little bit more special stories having to do with... Asuna and Kirito, guys, the main characters from that. It just shows you some cool stuff that they did. That it's just like it's like untold stories. Look at this with the Wizard of Oz theme. <laughs> Tin Man, Scarecrow, Lion. There you go. That's cool. Um, but uh, I mean, it's it looks pretty cool. There, I think they're separate little stories. I don't know if they actually combine together or not. They look like they might. Um, but the artwork is about the same as you'd expect from Sword Art Online, guys. It's not bad. It's really nice stuff. Um, the thing is, is that I guess these are more... I thought they were more love stories, like these little romantic date type things that Kirito and Asuna went on on their own. But I guess it's something a little different. So now what we're going to do, guys, is... Um, so that is the title, guys. Sword Art Online, Kiss and Fly. This is the first volume. Now we're going to look at the back here, guys. I did not pay 13 bucks. I can tell you I did not. So let's see here real quick. Um, romantic Day turns into quest to uncover the mystery of the flying house. Familiar faces. They'll need heart, brains, and a whole lot of courage. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, Brother Hamill, you get that one. I know you do. And when Asuna begins to have an out-of-body experience, their investigation returns a shocking possibility. So I guess it is. It really does have to do with some romantic type stuff because... This looks like it doesn't take place after the third series where they, where Asuna is obviously older, Kirito is obviously older, they're not in school anymore. I don't think it does, I think it's meant to go back before that, but um, it, it's a cool little thing. It's just, it's a neat little thing between the two romantic characters that are involved there, and they apparently are going to do some of, they're going to still be the main characters, but it looks like they're going to do kind of what they've been doing in Progressive where in Progressive it's been more based around the the two of them and then one or two other main characters well not really main characters they show up enough to be main characters but they're really supposed to be side characters but the thing is is that it looks like this one does have a lot of the side character friends in it but I imagine they're only in there enough to be like cameo appearances type thing but I guess we'll have to see as I go along won't we all right, guys, the last one is another sword online. This is R.E. Ironcrad, guys. This is a different variation, and as you guys can see, volume one, of what happened in the original. Now, anybody that's aware of the original sword online, they went to a place called Ironcrad. That's where they were trapped. This is supposed to be a different take on that, which is funny because that's what Progressive was supposed to be. So here's the thing, guys. 13 bucks. Definitely got it for less than that. I think I got a lot of my books for around 11 Let's see what the kicker is on this one. Huh. Die in the game and you die in real life. Uh-huh. Games launch. 10,000. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, it's weird. It looks like it's the same thing. Okay. Uh, I have a hunch. Okay, I'm looking through it. It is starting to look a lot like the original, guys. So either this is either 
either the first one is out of print and they went back and decided to reprint the original or they're taking some slight variations from the from the original and they're kind of doing a redo of it but it looks a lot like the original I'd have to look guys I have the original I'd have to look and see but some of this stuff is like this whole thing with this character this is looking like it's something different I haven't seen before um so I'm thinking that it's going to have some um variations I, I'm thinking it's wonderful artwork, guys. I, I just want you to know. It looks like I think I'm already seeing some variations. Um, some stuff looks like it's a bit different um, than what I remember. So that does look like it's the case. It looks like they're doing a slight variation where they actually are doing the original Sword Art Online thing right from the manga. Because the manga and the anime don't always follow each other. And what they did is, is they went along. They just kind of rewrote it a little bit whether it's basically the same one as the original and they're just giving you new stories with new characters of of the main characters as they went on to do other things you know untold stories i can't say if it's that or if it's another parallel reality type situation like progressive because sword on line progressive takes place more in an alternate reality because they meet characters that you know are not in the original one and that's what they do a lot in the video games, guys, where the video games introduce characters that are just, they should be dead, but they're still alive. And so almost every single one of them is an alternate reality of the original. And it's very interesting, but sometimes very confusing, too. So there you go, guys. There is my newest stuff to my collection. I can't wait to get caught up. I'm so behind on everything. I'm still trying to get caught up in my latest Kuma 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 Bear one. But I wanted to show you guys what's been now added to the book collection. We got plenty of stuff to read. I've already glanced through the Power Rangers one, but I do try to. I want to get caught up. I believe I have the issues before it switched to recharge, so I want to get caught up on those. I'm missing a pivotal issue that I stopped on that one. It's way back in the, like I think in the seventy range. So it's. It's long before that. I want to get caught up on stuff. I'm sure I have them somewhere. I was picking them up for the longest time, even after comic book shops around here closed down. So I'm hoping to get caught up as best I can and then read into the recharged and then get my stuff and figure out what's going on. However, if they're each going to be that price and I'm going to have to pay almost 16 bucks for only three issues, I might just pick up the Darkest Hour one. And say, well, you know what, guys? At least I picked up some of the more pivotal ones, and I'll call it good. Because I'm sorry, I'm not going to get bled 16 bucks, guys. Let me think about that for a second. That makes each issue... Oh, gosh, what is it? Is it 4 bucks? No. It's almost $5, guys. 5 times 3 is 15 And I can't remember. I think up here is the main. They put a tax on comics. But I'm not going to count that. I think I did get charged tax when I bought it, though. Um, so that roughly equivalents to about five bucks, guys, per comic. Actually, about roughly about five dollars and is it thirty-five cents? It's like five dollars and thirty-three cents, I think, a piece. I think that equals that brings you to like fifteen dollars. No, what did I say? Sixteen. I think I said sixteen ninety-nine. So. Really, because what I just said, guys, brings you to like fifteen dollars and um, ninety nine cents. So really, it's more like you could almost take it and say it's almost like five seventy five, I think, a piece, give or take, and that kind of gets you close. So it's ridiculous, guys. I don't know how much Boom Studios was charging for their Power Rangers, but that's just dumb, and I think it's a rip. Now, if I can get them for a little cheaper, I will. But here's the problem, guys. The reason I'm going after them now. Boom Studios, as much like IDW, once they lose the license, usually the trade paperbacks go too. They're not allowed to put them out. They're not allowed to make them. They're not allowed to distribute them. I'm still now trying to go back and collect the IDW Ghostbusters, which I really started to like after the fact. And now you can't even get them. You have to get them really used up. They were in libraries and stuff. 
and they really kind of beat the snot, and I don't want them that badly. I'd like a new copy, but people are gouging on the new copies because they don't print them anymore. So I'm trying to avoid that with the Boom Studios Power Ranger stuff. That's basically what I'm trying to do, guys. So I might have to jump all over this, but we'll have to wait and see. The Darkest Hour thing is not over yet, and until it's over, they won't make the trade paperback. I do have a plan on getting a few more trade paperbacks. I was just waiting to find a cheaper deal on one of them in particular. But there are a few things, guys, that I do want to get. I don't want to tell you about them because I want them to be a surprise and we can do another video on them. But trust me, I got a few more things I want to add to my collection down the road. A few more um, compilation books. The next one will be a DC book. And it's, event, it's an event book they did where they um, actually had um, uh, an event it's a bunch of it's a crossover event thank you that's what i'm thinking of it's a crossover event and um it will then compile all those books into one thing i'm thinking of getting the hardcover edition because i really like some of the characters in the story um so i'm thinking about getting that in the future guys i was just waiting like i said to see if i can get a cheaper deal on it i didn't like the price because people were charging more than what it was actually worth Jeez, what a shocker on ebay and i don't like to order off um, I don't like ordering off Walmart.com because they suck. They will make you wait. Now, I've seen it multiple times, guys. They make you wait almost a minimum of two weeks before they ship your stuff out now. If you haven't ordered from Walmart.com in a while, look sometime. Look at the date it takes them to ship stuff. If you don't have their special thing. If you have Walmart Plus, they're more than happy to bend over backwards a little bit for you. I'm pretty sure the scam here is, is oh, well... We don't have time for you non-Walmart Plus members. So if you don't bother to get the Walmart Plus thing, we're going to make you wait the long thing. It's a scam, guys. It's basically extortion trying to make people get Walmart Plus so that you can get stuff quicker, kind of like what Amazon does with their stuff, where you're supposed to be able to not have to pay a fee for it, and you're supposed to be quicker, technically. If you remember, the Walmart used to have this guaranteed thing where it was three days or less. Yeah, they don't do that anymore because they suck. They suck. They're just like everybody else. They're just a bigger version of the freaking scalpers we have out there. They suck just as bad. So Walmart.com can go pound monkey butt. I'm not buying from them anymore if I can help it unless I'm forced to because they're the only people that have the anime or the manga or stuff I want. If I can get it reasonable somewhere else like eBay or Etsy or somewhere else, I'll do it. I, Amazon can also blow me because the thing is, is, you know what, guys? A lot of times... They get hacked all the freaking time. And no, they don't tell anybody for a long time. So you don't know how long your card is compromised. But I know friends that have been screwed. Majorly. Because they put their credit card there. Because they won't do anything through third parties like PayPal. Well, if you're not going to do anything like that, Amazon. Then I'll keep my money and I'll give it to somebody else. Boom. There you go. Suck it, friends. But any, any other time. Uh, eBay. I like person to person sales. It's great. I love it. eBay has a guarantee. They make people have to get the tracking number out within three days. They have a guarantee on a lot of their stuff. I recently was screwed over when something of mine, that Power Rangers book, guys, it was sent to a, it was sent to a town here in Maine, 26 miles from where I live one day. And so I had to go through the company and be like, hey, uh, you sent it to the wrong place, Dodos, because they messed up on the tracking number and the address. But the company was really nice, got back to me really quick, kept in contact, kept telling me I definitely deserved a refund if I ever wanted one, I could have one. But I was like, no, I really want my book. So I waited patiently and they got it back to me within, I think, a week. They actually shipped it out from within the state and made sure I got it within a day. It was great. Now, I gave them only a four-star review on eBay, but at least they rectified all the problems. That's the way it should be. Now, they, went, they had a really bad reputation for sometimes screwing a lot of their customers over. I got lucky. But that's the story about that, guys. The Power Ranger book, yeah, they messed that one up big time. So you do have to be careful because you can sometimes get screwed. But that's it for me, guys. I did a much longer version of this Nerdy Life than I thought I was going to. I need to upload this tonight. I need to get to bed. So thank you guys so much for listening to my rants and also checking out my wonderful books that I now have as part of the old collection. So, there we go, guys. One last look of at least the two Sword Art Online books I picked up. Can't wait to actually check them out in full. But, I'm, like I said, I'm very behind. I have a huge collection of manga, and I need to get caught up on it. Just like I'm not playing my video games as much anymore, and I'm not getting caught up on those. It's going to be a tough life when I get older, guys. I'm probably not going to be able to read or see things very good or play video games because I'll have bad coordination. And I'm de it's the old expression, I'm not getting any younger. 
and I gotta get to these things sometimes. So let's just hope that sometime I can get off my big fat keister, and trust me, it's plenty large, and I can actually get to reading these sometimes. But there it is, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of This Nerdy Life. It's been a pleasure and a privilege to be entertaining, I hope, to you guys tonight. In the meantime, I hope that you guys will have a great, blessed rest of your week. I would like to normally offer some uh, words of encouragement from the Lord, but all I can say, guys, is something very simple. In this day and age, we barely still follow the golden rule. Well, let's try to follow the Jesus rule, or sometimes what people call the platinum rule. Do on unto others as Jesus would do unto you. And that means, guys, that you know what? It's not just if people do something nice for you. Do something nice for people, even if they hate your guts. I gotta admit, it's very tough for me to do, but if you can be a better person than me, then please, please be a better person than me, because it's not that hard. And the thing is, is that go out there, do something nice for somebody, guys. As I always used to say, do something nice. I'd never believe that the Lord will let you do something nice without blessing you in return. Unless you're an evil, evil person. At which point, I don't know why you're doing anything nice for anybody. Gosh, that's scary. But it's a nice first try. And keep it going. Because if you're a really evil person and you do something nice for somebody, isn't it feel good? And doesn't it make you want to do it more? I sure hope so. But next to that, guys, do it. Go ahead and do something nice for somebody, because I bet my money, the good feeling you get will be the first of many blessings you get from it. So go out there, guys. Do what Jesus would do, which is love your enemies even when they hate your guts. Because sometimes, not to say that Jesus said this, but sometimes it can be dang funny to have them look at you like, what the hell wrong with you, boy? And the thing is, is it's great to see the look of confusion on their face because they don't know why the heck you're being nice. And it's just nice to have a chuckle on the inside about, yes, I'm better than this person because you know what? You really are. I'm sorry. We're all human beings. God sees us all as sinful creatures. But on the inside, folks, if you do something nice for somebody and they just want to punch you in the face, that means that I don't care what anybody says. You are a better person. In the meantime, thank you, everybody. It's been a great show for you, and I'll be here all week. Catch you guys on the next one.